It seems expanding the dimensions of your room cost us some build grist, but deploying the lathe did not appear to incur any expense. It looks like certain objects are freebies, probably to help you set up the game. Wow, okay. What do they do? I think it's up to you to find out. All I can do is chop stuff in your house and move it around, apparently. How do I move stuff around? It sounds fun! I don't think you can as the client. You will need to install the server application. You should have received both in separate envelopes. I'm running both on my computer right now. What? Did you get another envelope in the mail? No. Once you install the server and establish a connection, I'm sure you will be able to manipulate my environment in the same manner. Are you sure you didn't get it? Oh man, I think I might know where it is. Now that your room is bigger, why don't you move to the far corner? It will extend the range of my cursor and I can reach the items. Which you threw out of the window for some reason? Good idea! What have you been doing in here all afternoon anyway? Ugh, I was fussing with my retarded Silidex. But I think I have it under control now. What modus do you use? I like to use trees. Oh no, that sounds so awkward. It's not exceptionally practical, but I think they are elegant. John, stand in corner. TT, deploy Crux Truder. TT, deploy Alchemeter. Why is the floor shaking? Are you dropping more stuff in my house? Yes. Two more large gizmos. Sweet! What is with all these big contraptions? If I had to guess, they appear to facilitate a sort of system involving punch card based alchemy. Huh. To what end? I mean, what are we supposed to be doing in this game? That remains to be seen. Maybe you should go investigate? John, get PDA. You grab the PDA. Switching back to stack modus so it's readily accessible. The interface is oddly sterile. No hilarious clown wallpapers or anything like that. Oops. You mean Harlequin wallpapers. The serious business application is open. It seems your dad uses it to keep tabs on various acquaintances. His fellow street performers, maybe? You guess the performing arts must be pretty serious business after all. Need counsel on removing coffee from necktie. Incident occurred 45 seconds ago. Beverage essences rapidly settling into fabric. Please a lab on incident. Was posturing unevenly to reach for hat on wall hook. Tip of tie slipped in open mouth of pot. Duration of dunk approximately 3 seconds. Photographic documentation of incident? Use ballpoint pen to roll up tip of cloth. Extract pen. Press rolled cloth against ceramic surface, e.g. restroom sink. In future, consider repositioning hat hook and or coffee pot. Decided to return home for fresh tie. Soiled tie will be laundered immediately upon return. John, install Pester Chum. This should be useful. Now you can keep tabs on your chums while you wander around your house. John, go out to balcony. Hey, I'm out on the balcony now. I am messaging for my dad's PDA. The one you threw into the yard? No, I am telling you! It jumped out of my Silidex like a frightened weasel! What were you doing with it in the first place? I am not sensing a lot of regard for the personal property of others. Is this how your pent-up frustration with your father manifest itself? What? No! Those were all accidents! Please take your psycho babbery elsewhere, miss! Your bathroom is a mess. Did you do that too? Oh man, see, this isn't cool! All this snooping nonsense. There's a cake in the toilet. Yes, there is. I am tempted to clean it up for you. Okay, if that will satisfy your weird OCD complex, then go ahead. My obsessive compulsive disorder complex? Can a disorder also be a complex? In your case, probably. <laughs> Sounds complicated. Anyway, I'm gonna have a look at this enormous platformy thing you put on the balcony. John. Examine alchemeter in a cautious manner. 